Let me ask you a question now. Have you ever been hurt, shaken, walking into the wall? Lay awake in your bed at night till your tears begin. Greetings with the Holy Word Peace. I'm Pastor Donnie Briggs, and welcome to Porch Talk. Who is this sitting beside me? Oh no, I'm on the wrong side today. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'm Lachey Dunny. I don't. I don't know. I'm Dunny Lachey. This is my daughter, Lachey Dunny. Dunny Lachey. <laughs> Amen. We glorify and magnify God for his love and his understanding. Amen. We thank and praise God for everything. Father God, I thank you for love and grace and for mercy and for peace and for joy and for understanding, God. I thank you for your word more than anything, Father God, how it keeps us and keeps us moving and lift us up, Father God, when we're bowed down. Father God, I just thank and praise you for Porch Talk on today, God. I just thank you right now for allowing us to worship and Spread your word, God, in the mighty name of Jesus. We thank and praise you for everything, God, in Jesus' name. Thank God and amen. 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 Today we're coming from the book of Galatians, chapter 6. Amen. Glorify God. We're going to talk a little bit about do's and don'ts of, of, of life, pretty much. Yeah, I remember um, the last show we were talking about how... Um, how the lady in the church, she always sit in her seat. And then somebody comes sit in her seat, and she just mad. I ain't mad. <laughs> right. That's I switched seats on her today. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. Just all do a little good. shake up, a little change. And then we can do a little change. Shimmy, shimmy. Change my hair. Yes, it look good, don't it, uh, Old and great. It's still pretty. <laughs> Thank you, daughter. You're welcome, mother. <laughs> So we're going to talk a little bit about the book of Galatians. Most of the time people come out of Galatians, they go straight to chapter 5. The fruits okay. of the spirit, which talks about love, kindness, and love, uh, fornication, adultery, uh, all adultery um, and everything. And so this time we're going to come out of that book and we're going to start talking about uh, what we're supposed to do after we learn the fruits of the spirit. Amen. So how to humble yourself. How to humble yourself. Amen. Once you start learning about the fruits of the spirit. Then I guess you try this when you start getting yourself in the mindset to get yourself together to do those things. Right. Have some self-control. Mm. Uh -huh. Start seeing things a little differently than we normally see things. Because oftentimes, we blind, like you said, we had those blinders on. We just see yeah. it one way. But we need to be able to be able to uh, be diverse. Be optimistic, too. Yeah. That's what I'm, I'm, well, that's what I'm working on, being a little bit more optimistic, especially with this traffic we have here. <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking about staying in the house. Just right. Just walking to the park right. and back. And then the gas yeah. prices. Wow, we're not even going there. But the book of Galatians, <laughs> chapter 6, is talking to us. Uh, let's start reading. Okay. Brethren. Brethren. If a man... Be overtaken in a fault, you which are spiritual. Restore such one in the spirit of meekness. Consider thyself, lest they also be tempted. But ye bear, but be, but ye, but ye one another's burdens. Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if any man, for if a man think himself to be something when he is nothing, he deceiveth to himself. He's lying to himself. Amen. So uh, we we are often overtaken in a fault. Sometimes we mess up. Yeah. You know, we, you can get caught up. Anybody can. You, me, everybody else. I don't care how long you've been pastoring. I don't care if you're fresh into the ministry. You've been in there 15 to 20 minutes. You've been in there 10 years. It doesn't matter. All of us can be caught up in the fault because the Bible teaches us that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. And all will sin some more. And so mm -hmm. that's where that grace and mercy steps in. Amen. Mm-hmm. So it said, Brother, if any man be, be, in a, be to overtaken in a fault, which ye, which ye, ye which are spiritual. So you got, you, you dealing with what you just said. The fruits of the spirit, the love, the patience, you know, and all that kind of stuff. Restore such as one in the spirit of meekness. Consider thyself, lest they also be tempted. Because sometimes you might be trying to go in that, that, that dope house and try to pull them out, get them out, and mm -hmm. you get caught up. So you have to stay prayed up. You have to stay spiritual. You can't let your spirituality down. Okay. But at the same time, you can't think yourself to be something when you're not. You can't think, be, don't think yourself to be more than the I am. Don't think yourself to be more than the person you sit next to that took your seat the last time. Right. <laughs> Amen. Really? But stay, stay.
stay focused and know that anything can happen to anybody at any given time. Regardless of how much money you make. Money ain't got nothing to money do Money ain't got nothing to do with nothing. it. Nothing. Amen. So the, uh, so be, so be bear ye one another's burdens and so, so fulfill the law. You know, the Bible tells us we're helpers one to another. Mm-hmm. And so bearing each other's burdens, meaning that uh, if, if, if something coming up, come up in your, maybe you become ill and you need somebody to come over and clean the kitchen or fix your meal or something and you, and you haven't got your little stuff together yet to get people to help you. And you might not look, you might look to family, but family may not be there. You might have yeah, to call true. somebody else that you know that can actually will not, well, uh, mind coming in that saved and help you. Amen. Amen. For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself. The Bible says we all filthy rags. We, I don't know. But the Bible says we are. We, we. But I took a shower. I'm not filthy. Whatever. No, I'm just playing. Mentally, physically, mentally, yeah. Our we, because we, we all think differently. A lot of people think their way is the right way and their way is the only way and their way is just is right a lot of the time even if you even if you have the understanding that it's more than one way to scan the cat you <laughs> still what nothing <laughs> they was they sent me did you did you send me that about the skin in the cat no somebody sent me something about skin the cat and said who wants to skin a cat anyway <laughs> That is true. <laughs> okay, so Why did y'all come it's more up than with one that? way to get to a, de a destination. Right, <laughs> it's a different route for everything. Let's not say that no more. <laughs> it is it's crazy it? how we say it? so much stuff and we don't really pay attention to it because it's such an old saying and you hear it so much. Mm -hmm. But the comedians, for whatever reason, they always catch everything. They but, catch everything. Yes, that's just what I was looking at. Something. Okay. Yeah, it's a lot of stuff be going on. But let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. You don't have to wait on, you do what you got to do. Do your job. Like I told you, clean, clean your own room. Don't worry about what, don't right. worry about what Darian doing. You do your room, okay? And then you ain't got to look to nobody else to get pat you on the back. Right. If you what that sweep around your own mind, okay. That girl went there. I went there Are a little bit. Trying to sweep around my. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah. Yeah, sweep around your own front door. Before you try to claim somebody else. Cause when else. you come to my door, ain't no telling what might happen. Mm mm. I don't want to come to my door. Yeah, don't, don't. Please don't come to her. <laughs> she ain't gonna open it no I'm, way. I'm not. <laughs> Will not. Let every man be do do your own, stay in your own lane, do your own thing, you know, and stop looking for people to do this to you. And don't worry about being patted on the back. You just did what you were supposed to do. And that's a lot, and that that is the issue. A lot of people because and it starts with, I guess I can say it starts at home. A lot of people feel like they didn't get the credit that they needed, or they didn't get the blessings and praises, and just like in school, they didn't get their recognition. So a lot of people look for that recognition. So even if they may not fully agree with something that they're doing, they're going to do something anyway just so they can become noticed. But then you got some people that's just born their way, too. And they yeah. have to tr be trained to, to not do that. Not look for attention. Not look that's for attention. That's the type of attention you want? Uh-uh. We ain't going to your house, are I'm we? just saying. <laughs> Be careful for the attention that you ask for. Right. And you don't just, want it. And it's really you want I, realness. You don't want yeah, phony Yeah, you want to learn how to be yourself. Me and a, uh, one of my friends, we were talking the other day, and it came up with the question of how um, this thing going around where you ask women what they bring to the table. Don't do that. Don't, 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 don't ever. Nine times out of ten, the woman brought the table, the chairs, the electricity. Yeah. She, she, she brought the couch. Yeah. The spoons and the forks. Yeah. The knives, the pots, and the pan. The, the house that is that's mm, built around that table, that. too. I'm just saying. But it's like, uh, you might be figuring out that side. I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, it, they ask you what, you what you bring to the table. And what were we talking about? Sweeping around your own front door, getting stuff being, together. Being your, being yourself. Yeah, and then they want to ask you, what is it that you look for in the person? 
And I feel like the correct answer to that would be, I would want to be around a person that feels comfortable enough to be themselves around me, and I can be myself around them. But then I would know, never, honestly, right? Because right, I would never tell. Yeah, you, you, you don't tell. You don't people, answer those. You don't, I don't. That's not a question because the minute you a answer that question, they're going to portray that those gonna, characteristics, and yeah, I don't gonna, want that. Be yourself. Pretend. And then all of a sudden, three months later, the, that's going to fade away, and here comes right. the real undeal. And then they want to do the thing where they try to do or say what they think you want to hear. Right. Mm, nah. Mm. Wrong mm. answer. Yeah, very wrong answer. Very wrong answer. It's a f f it says, let, uh, but let every man pr provide, prove his own work. Let every man prove his own work, and then shall he have rejoicing in himself alone and not in another. For every man shall bear his own burdens. You got your own thing to do. Do what you are called to do. Right. Let him that is taught in the let him that is taught in word and communicate unto him that it teacheth in all good things. Let him that let him that is taught in the word communicate unto him that teacheth in all good things. And whatever I'm teaching, teaching it all good things to whoever I'm teaching it to. And then I'll always be able to be receive teaching. Right. And constructive criticism, in other words. Mm-hmm. I mean, I, we don't know everything. No, we don't. We don't. You can always learn something from somebody else or learn from another situation, even from looking for a, from afar. Oh, for, for example, this is going to be a weird example, but it works. You're having a conversation with Monk. And all of a sudden, you say something, and it sparks something in his head that brings him an idea on how a situation happened. So that's just like if you having a conversation or you see a particular situation. Let's say my mom's been telling me how to do something for years. She's been saying the exact same thing over and over and over again, the exact same way. But if I see something or hear something that's a little bit different, it triggers something that's like, oh. I get it now. I, aha. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It says, be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that he shall also reap. For he that soweth to the flesh of the flesh shall reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life eternal. And let us not be weary in well-doing. For in due season we shall reap if we faint not. So whatever it is you're doing, don't be deceived. Your word, what God has for you to do, do it. He said, don't make fun of it. It ain't no joke. You know, be not mocked for whatsoever man soweth, that he shall also reap. So if you sowing into the flesh, if you sowing only to, to please yourself, if you sowing only for personal gain, mm -mm. that's what you just did. That's the, end. that's the end of the story. But if you sow in the spirit, you shall reap eternal life. And you're, and you're giving life to somebody else. So in the beginning... If you see a brother or sister in a fault, you know, correct them in love and meekness so that they can, what? So is that the real definition of be fruitful? What you mean? Now, you said a lot of times when people go to Galatians, they do, what, what does it talk about? The fruits of the Spirit. The fruits of the Spirit. Mm -hmm. So if you're being fruitful, you're teaching people mm -hmm. how to be the fruits of the spirit. Right, you be to be fruitful. So this is I'm asking. So is that the real definition of being fruitful? That don't mean like have a whole bunch of children, right? I ain't got nothing with no children. See, okay. Oh no 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 no. Because a lot of people say God said be fruitful. Ah, oh. that's a whole other book though. That's in Genesis. Ah. And then he said replenish the earth. So that's a different fruit. But this right here is talking about lifestyle. It's talking about giving people hope and uh giving them correct information being mm -hmm. humble learning how to be yourself right and to actually love each other without tearing each other apart it's a song like that is it mm -hmm. I bet. we got to love each other love <laughs> each other i think miss edda sings that yep that's her song yeah if we do we have to love each other it's just about and it's respecting to for one another because uh, in due season, we'll reap what if we doing? faint not. If we don't give up, if we don't fall down and say, I can't do it, I just forget it. Jump mm. off the building. Mm. Mm -mm, no. I'm just going to quit working. I ain't going to do nothing. I ain't going to say nothing to nobody else. I ain't got nothing to do with nothing to nobody. Just, just leave me alone. 
That ain't mm -hmm. the answer either. A lot of people want to uh, go back into the house and stay in the house, but that's not that's like not stay there, not just like have a little bit of me time. They just want to no, they just they want to cut world. off the world. Okay, there's a lot of world cut off of us in this world. Mm -hmm. People just don't want to have anything to do with anybody because they think that it's all about them or people just don't understand me or, you know, you, you don't understand me. And, well, I, I, you know, well, that's okay. We don't know about to understand you. Do you understand you? That's, that, that is the biggest part. That is the question. <laughs> that, yeah, understanding yourself, knowing who you are. Right, and so you can't expect everybody, like you said a little few minutes ago, to do everything the same way. Just because I want to do something differently, it's not necessarily mean I'm against you, but it's just, I got ways just like you, I have a mind just like you have a mind. And so we have to express our thoughts. And that's, that's what it's all about, you know. And sometimes people don't want you to do that. And so a lot of times, that's the reason why when I, if I'm going to help somebody, let's say uh, when I leave here this afternoon, tonight I'm, I'm going somewhere. If, I, if they need me to help them do something, I'm gonna, what you need me to do? I'm not going to go in and take over. I'm going in, what you need me to do? You need me to usher for you or you need me to, you know, pray for us or whatever. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that you need me to place me where you want me. Right. But a lot of people want, are afraid that people are going to take over, so they don't want help. Hmm. They want you to, uh, uh, she's going to try to take over. No, no, we, don't, we ain't got to take over nobody's ministry. No. But we are helpers one to another. Right. But there is a way to help. You don't go in. Us making assignments, you go in asking about the assignment. Right. And that's even in somebody's home. Let's say, you, uh, I remember one day I was in a meeting, I'm a caregiver, and I was in a meeting, and, uh, and I, I struggled with this myself. This young lady was also in the meeting, and the, her client didn't want her to do her laundry a certain way. But she decided she was going to do it anyway because that's the way she liked to do it. But it wasn't her laundry. Mm, can't do that. So she said, I, I put in a whole bunch of, you know, softness sheets in that, that thing. I don't know who she was. And she was like, but that's how I like to do it. But she didn't want that. She said, I'll go buy my own and still do it. But that still ain't what the, the client wanted. And I cried. Oh, my God. You were, you kidding? I, I'm sorry. I was in, we was in a meeting and I just jumped. I just cried. I had to leave out the room because if I got in a situation and somebody was taking care of me, I would want them to go by what my thing is, not by what yours. Right. Yeah. And it it, it really upset me, uh, especially when I guess it's it's more upsetting when it's a person that you know that you it's like you taking advantage. Right. That's how I feel like you you taking advantage of the person. And, you know, sometimes it irritates me, like, somebody actually offers their help or whatever, and you give them instructions on how to do something, and they don't want to do it that way. Mm -hmm. Well, then you should have just did it yourself. So that's what I was just saying. You come in with that, you got to be humble. And even though that mean, didn't mean no harm, and it probably wasn't no horrible thing about the fabric sheets or whatever, but That's it's the horrible same. to me because you wasted my money by putting seven fabric, you type one. <laughs> one. Depending on the load, right? You know? Yeah, depending on what went one, okay? Right. So, you wasted so. my money. It's, it's just, I, I, I don't know. It's, yeah, it's just a bit disrespectful. It, it is, and it's hard when somebody is on their back. They can't do for themselves. And here you are, don't say, well, you might not like it this way, but this is how I'm going to do it. Ma'am, you're fired. I'm going to cook it like I want to cook you're, it. You're fired. Sorry. You need to be gone. It's like you get, get, you going to take what I give you. No, we're not doing that. Right. No, this making me mad. You remember I had a struggle putting the jelly on somebody's stuff? You said, well, just buy the squeeze bottle. I yeah, said, let them do it themselves. Let them do it themselves. So I buy the squeeze bottle. They in that, you know, they keep it themselves, you know, because it's just like, whoa, this is, ugh, this is so childish to me. But yeah. that's the way they like what they like. Yeah. And so you give them what they like. And 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 I have a hard time with one of the things that my mama likes to do at her house. It kind of drives me crazy. You got an empty cereal box at my house. We just flatten the box. Is is flat. And you can slide it in there or you lay it flat. At her house, she likes to make a pile. She likes to tear the box up. And I'm like, it just seems like it's taking up more space to me versus then having something flat, then layering it, turning it up. But that's what she, she likes. She's telling to my business to the world just like that. 
Um, I, I never, never, when I used my example, didn't nobody know who I was talking about. But she done threw me out on the bus. <laughs> well, no, <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm throwing both of us under the bus I'm then. Just, I'm just kidding. But that's the way I was raised. I was raised to tear it up, small as you can, and put it in the dumpster. And I just fled. And so she chose, I taught her the same, but she chose not to do what I taught. Neither I one is wrong. Own mind. Neither it's one is more wrong. Than, want more than, than one way to go on the road. Yeah, want to get to the point. Yeah, yeah that the part. <laughs> so, yeah, we, she has her own ways. Her ways are not wrong. They're just not mine. They're just not. Uh oh. They're just not mine. Why are we? It says, let us not be weary in well doing. For in due season we will reap if we faint not. As we have, therefore, opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are the household of faith. So, we want to do good to everybody. True enough. But if your spiritual sister and brother, mm. you make sure you do good to them first. You take care of home first. Then you go abroad. What I look like, my church, or somebody in my church family, is uh, in need of something. Mm -hmm. But I go over there to, to another church and help, help them, them first. first. No. Oh, no. that kind of almost sounds like the or United States. But uh, I'm going to leave that alone. We, ain't doing, we don't do politics. We're not going to do politics, but I'm just saying, I live here. Man. Man. <laughs> right. So even uh, if you see somebody on the street needing some food, but your, 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 your spiritual person or your... Family needs something. You don't give it to them. You give it to them right, right there. Take care of home. You first. take care of what's important first. And then the Lord will also, if you, if you so desire to really help other people, God going to make a way for you to help that other person. Because you got a, you got that spirit of giving, your spirit of love. Mm. <clears throat> you see how a large letter I have written unto you with my own hands. And as many as desire to make a fair show in the flesh, they constrain you to be uh, circumcised. Only least they su should suffer persecution for Christ, cross of Christ. For neither they themselves who are circumcised keep the law, but desire to have you circumcised, that they may glory in your flesh. But God forbid they should glory, save the cross of our Lord Jesus Christ, for whom the world is cru uh, crucified unto me, and I unto the world. For in Christ Jesus neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. So, like we said in our last show, renew the mind. It's not about being circumcised anymore. You don't have to get circumcised, whether you're circumcised or not. It's according to your belief in, uh, in Christ Jesus is whether or not it's, it's the thing that matters. You don't have to be circumcised. Back in the day, you had to be circumcised at a certain time, or else you couldn't be considered a Christian. Oh, okay. So now, since Jesus died, that's not a necessity. We don't have to deal with that anymore. So you people glory in the, oh, he wouldn't have got himself circumcised. Oh. <laughs> he going to be crying. Grown man or child, you know, they go, they get circumcised and a grown man, go, mm -mm, they go, so now you don't have, that's not a point. It's not something that's necessary to do, but your heart has to be circumcised. You have to have a believing, exactly. loving, and caring heart for the fruits of the spirit. That's that circumcision that we look for today. Can't be in that box. Oh, they did the box. Can't, can't be in the box. You have to be open. Right. So it's like peel the shell off and release and be free in your mind. Exactly. So we want Christ in our hearts and in our minds. Right. To be like, like God. And as many are walk according to this rule, peace be unto them and mercy upon, upon, our, of the, uh, upon Israel of God. See, when they got circumcised, they had, to, they had to follow and they couldn't break not one law impossible hmm. it's impossible for us not to sin it's impossible not to break those laws some a law or another that's what i was going to uh ask you about earlier with within the uh scripture you when you were reading you said something that we are going to sin 
We be fault. That we we caught in the fault. That's like in the beginning when we were talking about if a brother be caught on the fault. If we mess up, we will sin. And it don't have to be out loud. It don't have to be obvious. It just could be mentally. But no sin is is greater than another. That's what some say. That's that's what <laughs> that's what that is that what the Bible says? I haven't read it, so Okay. Which is weird. I feel like if most sins there is a well, there is a sin that's worthy of death. And that's what you will find in the book of Romans, uh, chapter one, and that's talking about homosexuality. So if there are there is a sin that is worthy of death. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, and, and a lot of people think that, I, 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 I don't even really want to get into all that. Yeah, I don't either. That's, that's a, that's a, that's story. a whole we don't have story. A, we don't have that much time. <laughs> but if you look in the book of Romans, chapter 1, it teaches us about that, and it talks about having a reprobated mind. And so when you have a reprobate mind, the word reprobate means no hope of salvation. So I guess there is a sin that is greater than the others. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, we'll talk about it one day if you want to, under the sun. We talk about everything under the sun. We ain't scared. For henceforth, let no man trouble me, for I bear in my body the marks of the Lord Jesus. Brethren, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you and your spirit. Amen. 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 I mean, I thank you, praise God, for this lesson because, you know, a lot of times we, we think that just because we've been in this particular church or uh, been in ministry so long or something that we have arrived to a certain point, but we're not there. As long as you live We're not there. We need help. Right. Every day of your life. You see, as long as we're living. As long as, as you breathe, yes. Uh, I remember this song uh, writer said, if you got a soul, you got a chance. I love that song. I don't know that song. That's uh, that's what George Dean in the gospel for. I had a feeling that, <laughs> that was one of his songs. I did. If you got a soul, you got a chance. Amen. So you can't you can't blast the the Holy Ghost. You can't blast the Holy Ghost. Say there's no such thing as the Holy Ghost. Then you you messed up. You just messed up big time. Mm -hmm. So, but if we see somebody in a fault, we love on them. We help them. We pull them up out that mark and moral clay because we don't want people to be. We don't want people want. We don't want people to go to hell. We don't want people to die in right. their sins and go to hell. We want people to be able to actually what we say look up and live. And we want people to uh, to meet Christ in the air. And we don't want them to get there. And He said, "I don't know you." Right. That that's kind of rough. You don't live a, a, a Christian life all your life, and then all of a sudden you say, "I don't I don't know you." And remember, your attitude is a choice. Your attitude, yeah, is, attitude a is definitely a choice. So when you wake up and you feel like you're going to have a bad day, you take that time out and like to yourself, get yourself together, get your mental together, let yourself know it's going to be a great day. You don't let nobody make you mad. You just smile and be optimistic about it. Just take it to somewhere else. If somebody, you see somebody else mad, and you know that you're probably might be already mad or irritated because, like I said, you wake up. Sometimes you have those days where you wake up and you feel like you're going to have a bad day. Then you turn it around. You can turn the other person's day around and they might turn the favor, might return that favor. Yeah. So A lot of times, it's just like when you go to the hospital and visit somebody. You don't go in there looking like you sick. You go in there uplifting those that are in the yeah, hospital. Yeah, like nothing, nothing happened. They, all these <laughs> go in there making be jokes and everything. <laughs> Yeah, just, just make act other, like it's normal. Yeah, make it a make it a better day. Make it's, it a better day. Make it a better day. Um, if you would like to uh, sponsor Porch Talk, you can call me at 901-550-9806. Make sure you share Porch Talk with uh, everybody. Let everybody know that Porch Talk, Porch Talk is on the air. If you would like to donate to Porch Talk to help us stay on the air, it's dollar sign Donnie Briggs, D O N N I E B R I G G S. On Cash App. On the Cash App, right. Dollar sign Donnie Briggs. So we're so glad that you joined us tonight for Porch Talk, and we hope to see you next week on Porch Talk. And don't you dare forget to look, look up, up and, and live. live. Question now Have you ever been hurt, shaking, walking into